I just wanted to do a real quick video here showing everybody how to install the DMD Saver mod uh, for several different pinball machines uh, made by Ingo Kramer. Uh, this particular one is going to be on a Data East Jurassic Park. And we're going to get started here first by removing the back glass and opening the back box. And then once the back box is open, we're going to remove the display simply by lifting up and then back out towards the front of the machine. And as you can see, I put a towel across the glass uh, to try to protect from any scratches or damage. And this is what the back of the display board looks like with the latest ROM install. So the first thing we're going to do is tap into the plus 5 power supply line on uh, connection CN2, the red wire. Now I kind of debated myself if I wanted to use the scotch lock connector. You know, some people love them, some people hate them. I debated for 20-30 minutes and just went ahead with the supplies I had and used the supply connector that came with the same. So here we're going to go ahead and remove the ribbon cable. Now pay attention to how you unplug it. Uh, you want to pay attention to the orientation of pin 1, which is normally the red stripe as I'm shooting here in the video. However, I did notice uh, before I was in the machine, before I shot the video, uh, it was actually backwards and my red stripe was on the other side. Now when plugging the DMD saver module into the board, make sure you center it on your pins. This means you're going to have a row uh, to the right and a row to the left of your actual pins because there are more holes in the DMD saver plug than there are on your board. So again, do not seat it completely flush with the left or the right. This will throw off the alignment of pin one. And I'll show you what happens when you do that at the end of the video. But again, make sure it's centered. So now we're going to actually connect the 5 volt wire direct that came with the DMD saver to the DMD saver, uh, connect this into the scotch lock. And then now you're going to take that thinner red wire from the DMD saver push it up towards the stop in the scotch lock and then crimp it down with a pair of pliers so that metal actually pierces the insulation and makes your connection. And then once you're crimped, go ahead and flip the plastic cover over uh, to hold it in place and protect the connection. Now stop what you're doing before you turn the machine back on. Now the reason I say stop is we don't want to damage your machine if you've done something wrong. I had limited instructions when I first did this, and I did not know the correct way to orient the DMD saver when I was plugging it back into the room. So first I'm going to show you here what happens when you accidentally uh, make your DMD saver flush pin one side of the board. As you can see, the display uh, is completely uh, gibberish here. Um, I was like, well, maybe it's a dirty connection. Let me flip the, the, the dip switch to make all the lights come on. And this is, you can see what's happening as you alternate between the two settings of the dip switch. Now here I am starting to panic. Uh, I don't know if the DMD saver is not working. I don't know if I've shorted something out. Um, all I know is uh, in a few hours I'm on my way out the door to go out of town for vacation. And uh, I'm not going to be able to be around to troubleshoot this machine, um, even if someone is able to help. Here I am trying it again, just making sure everything's seated firmly. I didn't miss anything. Um, you know, as you can see, it, it's still coming up like that. I don't know what's going on. Now, I do want to point out here, I'm not actually changing any connections, plugging anything in, unplugging anything. While the power is on, I'm simply flipping the dip switch to see the difference between all dots on and the uh, normal operation of the display. Never unplug anything or plug anything in while the power is on. Is the okay, now we can skip to the moment we've all been waiting for.
I spent the better part of Thanksgiving going back and forth with Bingo in Germany, um, and then we determined that uh, he actually mm -hmm. forgot to glue the holes in my unit to align it properly. Um, so that was what was causing the display issue. And um, here we are with the um, dip switch set to all lights on and flipping that over. Now we're back in the normal uh, display. Okay, so now the last thing you need to actually do is to adjust your display uh, to fit your particular machine and display together. So now you just take your screwdriver, uh, that pot switch on the DMD saver, um, you want to turn it uh, all, the way, uh, all the way down to the point where your display kind of cuts out. Uh, it's as dark, it's, you know, it's too dark, it won't come on. Then you turn it back up just enough where the display looks normal, you don't have the baby lines or uh, anything like that. Then you just flip that dip switch back to the regular mode. Here's your display back. Uh, your machine's now ready to play. Uh, one thing I didn't notice while I was adjusting it, you know, I was more worried about shooting the video. Uh, as you can see, my display is it's a little on the dark side. Um, the, uh, the dimmer dots are not showing. Uh, that's simply because I didn't adjust it back up enough. Uh, I didn't notice that till in the middle of gameplay when some of the graphics looked weird. So we went back and tweaked that. So here we are firing it back up after a quick tweak to the brightness. Uh, it's good to go. Um, so that's it. That's all there is to it. So I just want to end the video with a very special thanks to Ingo for coming up with this device in the first place, figuring out the theory behind it, and of course the excellent customer service throughout Thanksgiving. I don't even know how to describe it here. Uh, the quick responses, uh, very knowledgeable of the product. Uh, all I can say is, yeah, thanks. It's a great product. Uh, hope you guys enjoy.